Hey guys, uh, welcome back. I just wanted to show y'all some uh, common issues with these gauges. I've been working on 2%, the gas gauge wasn't working, and uh, that's that's pretty much the only gauge on a vehicle that I want to work. I want them all to work, but I've got to have the gas gauge. So, uh, again, just kind of wanted to run y'all through this. This is typically where your issues are. Uh, again, I've had to take a bunch of these apart. You know, they, they just get old, and they've got this old little board on the back and uh you know they corrode up and uh kind of lose connection but you know anytime you've got one of these gauges that aren't working um you know which other than the speedometer of course it runs off of a cable but your gas gauge uh, oil pressure temperature voltage gauge uh, i'm gonna leave these out because i may stick that gauge in uh, my red truck here uh at some point i don't know if i will or not but uh anyway I, I, these are already apart just to kind of simplify things for me but uh, you know you'll have to take your gauge cluster out you know it's got some wires on the back and uh, some wires there and of course this one's a little odd uh, so look over this yours will probably not be like this this was an electronic speedometer this was off a newer model three quarter ton probably a, uh, lord I don't know 88 up you can tell by the speedometer it's a little different but uh, typically you will have a cable on the back uh, this one doesn't have it but anyway <clears throat> you'll take uh, your uh, gauge screws out uh, either a seven millimeter or like a uh, nine thirty seconds or something and uh, and then your for this piece it's quarter inch uh, screws so anyway take those loose uh, this old black piece will just kind of pick up out of there of course on the gas gauge that's what I've been working on you'll have a screw here um, I believe when you take the clear plastic piece off that removes these screws so you should just have one screw here or uh, you'll have one screw in the middle of these two and one on each corner whatever pretty self-explanatory but uh, the biggest issue you can see how these things connect they slide down in these little clips uh, the biggest issue with these comes from right here um, these little things now usually I'll take these out kind of mash them back down and uh, bend these ears down so it gets good connection on this copper board trace uh, you can see here that's your fuel wire this is the hot wire on this one this is the gauge ground I've had to do several things I've had to take and, and add a ground uh, from this to the body before on some gauges uh, like I said these old boards they just get old and corroded up and uh, sometimes the traces will break uh, you can take your own meter and ohm it out and make sure you're getting good connection if not you can solder you a jumper on these board traces but anyway we won't get into that uh, too awful much the biggest issues with these again come from these little clips here uh, let me see if I can get one out and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about. It's hard to do this with one hand, but I think I can pull it off. Um, sorry about that. I've kind of lost you there on my camera. But anyway, they just they just mash out. They uh, just pop it out just like that. Uh, just like that there. I'll, I'll leave that one. Anyway, this one. So you can see here where this makes a connection. You can take you a little razor blade or screwdriver or just anything and just kind of clean that trace up. Now, if it's got any corrosion, this one actually don't look bad. But uh, take this piece, see those little ears? That's what grabs that board. So you can bend those down, bend those down, make sure they're good and clean. Uh, you can kind of mash that back together so it grabs the back of this a little bit better. And, uh, and you just pop it back down in there. Just like that real simple uh, like i said it's a little bit time consuming just getting the gauges out because you do have to pull the dash loose uh, you don't have to take it all the way out but you do have to take uh, the driver's side loose kind of pull the clips out maybe i think one of the bottom screws and you should be good but uh again guys just uh i know most y'all probably already knew that but i like to pass that along some people do some people don't again i was having trouble with my fuel gauge now, on my fuel gauge, when I took the gas tank off 2%, I went ahead and I owned the uh, sending unit out. I've got a video on here if you want to know how to do that, how to check and make sure your sending unit's good. 
uh, go down through my videos. It's down there somewhere, I promise you. Uh, and it shows you how to own that sending unit out. Sending unit out, I'm sorry, I'm getting a little tongue tied. Uh, I've been up since three o'clock this morning, but uh, anyway, uh, start there. And uh, with 2%, I pulled my wire loose. I owned it out from the tank all the way up to the firewall. I was getting good connection, so I put the wire back. You can get to that wire without dropping your tank. Uh, you you kind of got to be sort somewhat limber, but you can get uh, toward the back of the tank and run your arm up in there and you can feel the top of the sending unit. You can pull that thing loose and uh, get it off. And like I said, you got to kind of fish it back in there. It's not real fun, but you can do it. And uh, so anyway, I had connection there. And so I went ahead and owned it from where it goes into the firewall up to the gauges. Um, now, I have in the past had to trace this board, uh, like this side, this would be for your fuel gauge wire. Now, uh, this is your hot. Of course, sometimes you can have issues with that. I was not having issues with that. I was having issues with my gauge wire because when I turned my switch on, my gauge went all the way to full. If your gauge is sitting uh, static, uh, not moving, you know, say this is your gauge, if it's sitting down here not moving, you may have a problem with your gauge or your hot wire. Uh, also could be the board ground, but anyway, uh, I'm just gonna tell you what I've done to 2% to fix it. This is for your gauge wire on this particular instrument cluster. Now, on 2%, this trace ran across the top. I said this one's a little different. This one come out of a, a dually truck. So, uh, and I've just used it for parts. I won't never use this in anything that I know of, but anyway, you can take and uh, trace that around kind of easy to lose your place but I've already traced this one several times and uh, anyway a little hard for you to see on here but right there is going to be your wire so if you have to I know I think it was 87 or 88 they went from a pink wire to purple I believe I think it was purple for your fuel gauge I don't know uh, don't quote me on that but uh, anyway you can uh, trace that, figure out which wire it is that's plugging into your instrument panel, and you can just replace that whole wire. I've had to do that because it's broke somewhere and I can't find it. I've had to, you know, put a wire on my harness, of course. You don't want to just shove it down in here because it's going to short out on everything. But, you know, you can uh, splice into your harness uh, on that wire and rerun that whole wire all the way to your tank if you need to. Um, not a lot to these, they can get a little aggravating. I actually had to call my dad and get a little refresher course on them. I hadn't fooled with them in a while. He's fooled with a lot of this stuff over the years, so uh, it's good to have a source like that, uh, just kind of help you along. But anyway, uh, since I've got to fool with this, all this has just sort of come back to me. So uh, anyway, just some common issues. If you're having some trouble out of these, it's worth a shot. You can take your gauges out, just pop those little clips out, clean everything up, clean the board up. Uh, mash them down, tighten them back up, pop them in so it's getting a better connection, and that'll probably solve your issue. Uh, the temperature gauges are kind of bad to go out. I don't know why. I've had to replace several of those. That one's a good one. Um, I've got a couple of those here somewhere. But anyway, um, typically your voltage gauge and your oil pressure ain't too bad, but, uh, you know, of course they can go bad too. Anyway, just some common issues that you may have with that. I hope that helps some of y'all. Uh, if it does, great. If it don't, uh, sorry. If you have any questions, let me know, and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, Y'all have a good one, and maybe we'll catch you in here in a day or two. See you later.